the Fin Fam. I'm so not used to that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Welcome to Fin Final Fantasy Fin Family YouTube channel. Hi, my name's G Gabe Cavalieri. This is my buddy Pete, and we here are the Fin Fam here. We are based right outside the greater Philadelphia region. There's been so many great community members within our in our community. We have a lot of great players. We have a lot of people that make content and have such a high level of professionalism, great video coverage, and they set such a high bar. So we are here to lower that bar because we're all just <laughs> playing around. We're going to go ahead and talk about how we got into the game. Talk about your background. What do you... So, uh... For myself, I've only been playing um, Final Fantasy for about a year. Gabe, you got me into the game uh, at our local store, Mainline Chess and Games, right in Paoli, PA. Yeah. Uh, yeah we, Should we give like, a shout out to the... Yeah, do some Mainline Chess and Games. This is for you, Tom. This is for everyone out this there. This is for you, Tom. And this is for you. This, this is, is for, for you. you. My, for familiar. Your, my familiar. You're my Finn Your family. Your mother's family. You are ignited <laughs> in. I was a Magic the Gathering player. I primarily played Magic. I play a lot of board games, um, miniature games. I like all kinds of games. And Game a junkie. <laughs> we have doing doing right. all the setup. We have tons of action figures. We pretend it's our audience. We're exactly. watching. We, we have a studio audience yeah, you, in our background. You can't see them, but all, all my they're miniatures. All, they're all watching. <laughs> our presence is well known in yeah. high regard. Exactly, among, among plastic. <laughs> I was kind of a late bloomer to card games in general. Uh, I was much more into video games growing up, uh, all the way back to the Sega Genesis, uh, going through the different uh, Nintendos, uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. I, like, I had every single system. And for me, when I first started playing the game, I never really played Final Fantasy a lot in video games. I know everybody's going to be like, oh my goodness. Yeah, dude, I have it all tattooed all know, over right? my arm. You know, I, I like look at my arm and I'm like, clap, clap. But, you know, I put clouds <laughs> on my arm and look at that. We, 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 we know the series. Yeah, uh, to my own fault, I really wish I would have gotten into it more. I've been playing Magic the Gathering for about seven years now. And I really just love the, the, the deck building possibilities. I like every format that you can play in Magic. I play, dabbled in Legacy, Modern, uh, Commander. I have like 10 Commander decks. Oh, man. I, so I really loved Magic the Gathering to the point where I almost started my own Magic channel. But it was such a hot garbage that uh, I had to... I had to back off there and, and lower the standards. <laughs> That's kind of a theme around here. But, uh, but, you know, and the other thing is, especially with Magic the Gathering, I felt like there was enough content out there that I wasn't sure what I was going to contribute, right? Because there was just, it's, it's a plethora. It's, it's almost hard to really fathom all the different types of Magic the Gathering programs. And a lot of these guys can put a lot more time into it. It feels like all the content creators within the Final Fantasy community are so open and willing to help that it only feels fair and, and it encourages you to want to produce content to at least get people better. That's the best part about our community. We have a lot of really good players in the Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware area. We all work hard to get better as players and nobody wants to win that million dollar mythic championship no we're trying to give you guys a little bit of my background I played a lot of card games when i was 12 13 years old i started out with Yu-Gi-Oh! very young i think a lot of people out there start that way got out of it for a little while played a bunch of different card games you hockey show battle spirits i feel like i could be on an episode of hoarders with a and e just with piles of stuff he has a lot of cats yeah, yeah. lots of cats Tons cats of everywhere cats. cats are just hanging out with the miniatures there are actually cats all around oh, all around here that's, that's see it, but... they're, they're there they're we don't the... have the panning technology with this camera. yeah dude we're working on the green steam to get a feature yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. started around opus 2 i got back into the whole card gaming thing um, I really enjoyed how flexible the game is. The idea of using a resource system of discarding cards from your hand and drawing more cards in a turn give you the flexibility of just being able to do whatever you want to do. Community is what really wanted me to get started. Some of you guys may know me from judging. That's kind of 
nobody knows me for playing. I'm hot trash. That's the <laughs> one. I don't know. You didn't do too bad at the uh, the last tournament over at Game. Yeah, hey, you know, it was it was okay. You know. But what I really hope that me and you know me and you and a bunch of our friends from our fin fam chameleon and part of our family in general is to kind of bring br bring a lot of different content to there. We all come from different backgrounds. Where I come from, a background that wants to be competitive, I'm like itching for that national spot. I want to. I'm planning to go to Virginia for the uh, Crystal Cup there. I'm working on trying to get to Arizona. It's very, very far in the future, but that's where I go. Oh, go when is Arizona? Uh, Arizona is in September, which Ooh. is right near my birthday. Which oh, is happy, happy birthday! birthday. Happy yeah, birthday! You know, Send it in the sandy desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the the twelve uh, viewers that we have by, by that point will all <laughs> they will all that. appreciate down in the comments. So all but <laughs> happy go birthday from twelve to ten. <laughs> It'll be like Breaking Bad, where they do all the meth labs and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back to it. What, what type of content do you, are we trying to bring here, Pete? We're kind of a new channel. We're still working through kind of the the plan of what we want to to bring to the table. But I think some of the things that uh, we have a lot of passionate players that, as you had said, bring different perspectives. So we have a buddy who, from a mere a pure budget perspective, like he loves the budget. It feels so bad when you sleeve up a deck that you're trying to practice for a local qualifier and he crushes you with a $30 deck. It's like $30. $30. Some of his decks are like $5. Yeah. The early <laughs> versions of it. And I've lost them. I'm putting, you know, but I have like $5 legends and stacks in his entire... on stacks of legends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this guy crushes you. Right. When you're not trying to pay for a bunch of legends and just trying to enjoy with your friends. Maybe that's something. Maybe you just like being degenerate and cracking packs like a lunatic. You know, that we, we want to bring a lot of different content. We want to we want to try to stir the pot a little. It's like a little stew. We all got some meat, got celery in there, got to squirrel the pot. You know what I'm saying? You got to squirrel the pot. Um Ah, <laughs> that's some good stuff. That's, that's good, really good yeah, stuff. Good, good stuff. So I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping that eventually what we can do, we can try to, you know, crack some packs for you. Kind of maybe talk a little bit. I think we want to do some stuff about draft. Yeah, so I, I think a lot of drafting involves a lot of different kind of skill set. I agree where there's a lot of bombs. There's a lot of understanding the set and understanding what color pairs are strong what you should be looking for in your packs. But we, I, I think right now, our, our goal is to even, you know, help people feel more comfortable when you're doing it. It's all about fun. It's really, yeah. you know what I mean? I think that that's kind of our focus. We want to come up with cool topics. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of channels that I can think of have awesome deck tech videos. And I don't know, personally, I, I like to... I like to build decks, but I don't know if I'm the expert on building decks. I don't, I don't see myself as that uh, type of wizard that can come up with it. But at the same time, I think that we, as a play group, talk about such interesting things that I can only imagine that the rest of, you know, the community across uh, the world that has similar views or uh, contrasting views that might just be interesting. Or just to at least appreciate looking at from a different bird's eye point of view. I yeah. think that's the important part. Yeah. And hopefully we can bring, you know, bring that extra spice to content. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching all you sweaty nerds. If you want to stay moist like us, please like, subscribe, and share with all your sweaty friends. And hope you enjoyed the video. What Gabe said. And no, this was our first video to introduce you to the new channel, The Finn Fam. Malie. We hope you liked our ramble and hope to bring more structure to future videos. Till next time, and remember, use deodorant when drafting. Always.